how to change stakeholder to basic Azure DevOps. If you're managing a team on Azure DevOps and need to adjust a user's access level from stakeholder to basic, you're in the right place. Let's go through the steps to make this change. First, you need to have the right permissions. You must be an organization administrator or have someone with those permissions make the change for you. To start, navigate to your Azure DevOps organization settings. You can do this by going to your Azure DevOps dashboard and clicking on the gear icon, usually found in the lower left corner. Once you're in the organization settings, click on the Users tab. Here, you'll need to search for the user whose access level you want to change. After finding the user, look to the extreme right of their entry and click on the three dots. From the drop-down menu, select Change Access Level. In the next window, you'll see a list of available access levels. Click on Basic and then click the Save button. That's it. The user's access level will now be changed from stakeholder to basic. To verify, you can search for the user's name again and check their new access level. It's important to understand the differences between stakeholder and basic access levels. Stakeholders have limited access, especially in private projects, and can't perform tasks like editing wikis, managing pipelines, or changing backlog priorities. Basic users, on the other hand, have access to most features, including analytics views, repos, and test plans. If you're working on public projects, the access levels behave differently. Stakeholders have more access in public projects compared to private ones, but it's still limited compared to basic users. By following these steps, you can ensure your team members have the right level of access to perform their tasks efficiently. Remember, if you set stakeholder as the default access level, you'll need to manually adjust service accounts to basic or higher levels to avoid any issues.